my entitled stepbrother destroyed pictures of my deckest mother and my stepmother is trying to kick me out of the house because of how I reacted. My dad has never really been in my life. He was abusive to my mom before he left and she raised me as a single mother. I cherished her more than anything in this entire world, but cancer had to take her from me. After my mom passed, I had to move in with my dad, his wife Saran, and his two kids, Alex, 14F, and Mark, 18M. Me moving in obviously caused a lot of issues with the family. Nobody, including dad, wanted me there and basically gave me the cold shoulder. Serena, Mark and Alex tend to talk with each other in French because they know that I can't understand them. I'm left hungry most days too, as Serena refuses to let me eat whatever she has made for the rest of the family for dinner, and has a strict no cooking rule past 10pm for the first month of living here, Mark just ignored me completely, even though he and I were forced to share a room since the house didn't have any space. I tried to be nice but I just lost my mom and it hurts and it's been so much changed so quickly. So two days ago though, I found the postcards and pictures and letters from my mom ripped into a bunch of pieces and scattered all across my bed. I kept them in a box under my bed and M knew where they were. When I found them ripped apart, he and I had been the only ones in the house, so I know he did it. I started yelling at him and we ended up verbally fighting right as Serena and Alex got back home. Mark insulted my mother, calling her a worthless wh re, and I socked him. We both exchanged a couple of punches and I accidentally elbowed Alex in the nose while she and Serena were trying to separate us. So Alex was wounded too. When my dad got home we were all still yelling and Serena was trying to throw me out of the house. At this point, I couldn't stop crying because I just had my only actual photos of my mom ruined and I don't know if I can. Fix them. My dad tried to settle everyone down but didn't end up punishing Mark because there's no actual proof that he did it. He is of course lying and claiming that he did not rip it apart, claiming he does not know who he did it. He went as far as to convince Serena and Alex that I ripped them on purpose to get them in trouble. Of course, I got in trouble for throwing the first punch and Serena is still trying to convince my dad to send me somewhere else. I have been forced to sleep on the floor for the time being too. Both Alex and Mark keep telling me that I ruined their family by coming here but I didn't really have a choice. I know I shouldn't have socked Mark but I was so mad and didn't think. My entitled stepbrother destroyed pictures of my deckest mother and my stepmother is trying to kick me out of the house because of how I reacted. I ended up sleeping on the couch for almost two months because I couldn't stand the sight of my half-brother Mark after what he did to my stuff and started carrying a backpack around the house with any personal belongings so nothing else could be damaged. Mark ended up apologizing to me but it seemed more of a show for my dad than an actual apology to me. My dad's wife Serene and my half-sister Alex still barely acknowledge me and still almost exclusively use French in the house, which I'm only now starting to pick up words and conversation for. I've always felt like a stranger in this house and, while I understand why they don't want me around, I don't know what I can do to try and make things work. The worst of it came three weeks ago when I forgot my keys to the house and got stuck out in the rain after I came home. I tried calling my dad but he didn't pick up and I rang the doorbell as many times as I could because I saw Serena's car outside the house so I knew she was home. But yet, Nob Naughty answered. At point I saw Serena looking at me through TH window upstairs. There isn't much close by us so I couldn't walk anywhere to wait. By the time my dad got home an hour and a half later, I was soaked in cold and, when we got inside, Serena just said that she was on a call and couldn't hear the doorbell ringing. I couldn't even talk to her and just went upstairs and cried in the bathroom before going to bed. My dad apologized later for not seeing my message sooner but that's not really the issue here. I feel sick living here and can barely eat or sleep half the time. My grades are tanking and I don't feel like I can talk to anyone. I miss my mom and everyone is pretending like she never existed and I have to basically do the same thing so nobody at home gets mad at me. The main issue is, a week ago, my dad's best friend and his husband heard about me being locked out of the house and asked if I wanted to come stay with them for a while. I want to say yes so bad because anywhere has to be better than where I'm staying now. But I know it's going to cause issues with my dad because he ruined his entire relationship with his family to be able to bring me home so I wouldn't have to go into foster care, and it's going to seem incredibly ungrateful. I know my dad's trying, he really is, but I don't know what I'm going to do if I have to keep living in his house until I turn 18. How do I broach the subject with him? Is trying to move out even worth it at this point or should I just toughen up and deal with it for the next year and a half?